Today we are going to go over the song Come Together by the Beatles. A couple different parts to this song. To start off, we are going around the drum set with a couple rim clicks, drum fills in here, and then we're using the hi-hat. Take a listen to that first rhythm. It has these rim clicks that go a little bit like this. Along with the kick drum, it goes. And you're gonna be hitting, those first two downbeats are with the kick drum. So that's the one and the two, so it's. repeats okay so on the toms you're going triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. okay you can try a couple different variations with that listen to the recording closely but you can try so you can try mixing around those triplets so I don't think that's actually what he does I think he he does actually go he does the two triplets You can play those rim clicks on the same rim as well, um, but if you listen closely, it might sound like um, it's changing pitch. I think they actually used a delay analog device to create that sound, but we're just recreating with something similar on the drum set. So here's the beat again. And something he does on the toms is a, a little bit of a cres crescendo, so it's getting louder as he goes across from the high tom to the low tom. So it's... Here I'm getting louder as I go from here to here. So you want to start off a little bit quieter on the high tom, and then you're finishing off louder. So then we go into the next part of the beat, which is just simple low tom eighth notes and quarter notes on the kick drum. So after that last time, now we're in verse one, right? And then we go into the uh, kick drum fill, which is our transition. And then from there, it goes right into the chorus, which is a super simple drum beat. It's, liter it's literally just our kick and our snare. So here we go from the kick drum fill. It's sort of like a pre-chorus transition. So it goes, one thing you can tell me is I got to be free, right? And then the other part of the song, this is the only other variation we have, is when they go into the crash cymbal part. This is, everyone's just jamming, right? Um, there's, a, there's a big drum fill before that part comes in. Pay attention to a lot of those fills that Ringo's doing. Um, super simple fills, but very hip. He's using a lot of those uh, dotted eighth notes. 
da 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 Just listen to how he uses simple variations of those rhythms throughout the song. Um, and I would recommend, honestly, just playing exactly what he does to start out, and then you'll sort of come up with your own variations after that. But you'll hear a lot of things like... I'm just playing you super simple examples. You'll be surprised when you listen to, when you listen through the song, um, they just come up with some cr p pretty creative variations of it and you'll be like, nice, this is, this is good music. So that's pretty much all of the beats that happen throughout the song. Um, if just listen through, you'll get the form. And with those different rhythms and beats that I just provided, you'll be able to play the entire song come together by the Beatles.